What's going on guys, your boy Savage back with another video. Today I'm coming to you guys with the all weapon showcase for Grand Kaizen. So let's just get right into it. The first weapon you unlock when you buy it and get into the game, um, the staff. So yeah, I'm just gonna showcase this. So first off, we're gonna start off with M1s. M1s are pretty decent, not bad at all. I like the animations that I also like the dust that kicks up too when you are attacking with your feet, like with your feet movements. It's nice. A little touch. And then we got the M2. Nice little big ground slam. Now we got the move. So I'm going to head over here to Toji real quick. And um, yeah. Basically, oh yeah, this is also where you get Toji's weapon, of course. So yeah, the M1s, you can see, pretty decent, not bad. The uh, mobile's not exactly the best supported for this, so the combos are a bit wonky. And as you can see, the M2s are delayed like crazy. But, all right, so first the move we have is Gilded Combo. I'm gonna try my best with this. Oh, we hit it, nice. Oh. We didn't get it real. I mean, we pretty much saw it, but it's a short move, but it's effective. Uh, next move we have, well, let's try go to combo one more time. Well, that's what it looks like. Um, <laughs> but next move we have is, uh, what is it? It's, it's vault kick. Uh, as soon as I got it, Toji's combo. Yeah, ball kick. So nice, just little, it's, it's just self-explanatory. It's a little, nice little ball kick. Uses the staff, and you just propel yourself to the person. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the staff. So let's just move on to the next weapon. Next weapon you unlock is the Jet Black Sword. This is Megumi's weapon, as you guys should know. And if those of you who don't, well, now you know. <laughs> but yeah, so. Basically, here's how it looks, the whole fighting stance, the M1s, the M2, and yeah, let's just go check out the moves. So, for the first move, we have Black Crescent Beam. It can be used as a counter, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so basically, you slash them, knock them up to the and just explode them so yeah pretty good move um i say it i think you can also use this in combo extenders too or like you know air combos so not a bad move um next move we have is nightfall basically just throw a whole bunch of slashes at them and the last final slash knocks them back um but since i'm on mobile the game's not registering them so it's not exactly showing but you get you guys get the point but yeah, so that's it for Megumi's weapon or the Jet Black Sword. So on to the next one. Next weapon we have is the Tetsu Bow, um, which is the last weapon you're able to unlock with the money before you have to start grinding weapons. So yeah, so first off we have the M1s. This one doesn't have any moves, but the M1s, the M2, and this is the strongest weapon you're gonna get from the shop. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. It's gonna be the strongest weapon you get. So, if you're gonna save up money for a weapon, I suggest you use it, <laughs> save it for this one. Um, and yeah, um, let's just move on right to the next one. All right, the next weapon we have is the Slaughter Demon. Now, you can get this weapon by going to Megumi, and basically, yeah. Well, you guys, if you guys see my guide, you'll know where to get it from, but basically, you get this weapon by fighting Megumi. I'm not fighting Megumi, sorry. Um, by getting it from Megumi when you get reach level 10, even though the requirement is level 5. So basically, here are the M1s. Nice little M1s, nice little M1s, some decent. And then we have them too. Nice little puncture and stab. Now we have one move for this, and it is Demonic Puncture. So we're going to try it out. Oh gosh. Uh. I'll try it again. All right, lagging. Um, 
like I said, mobile is exactly the best equipped, so bear with me. Okay, well that's how the move looks when you rush into them, and when you hit it, um, you just basically slice them and knock them back. So that's pretty much it for that. I'm not really going about to show in any game because if I do, it's just gonna be probably not even connected. Well, let me see. We're gonna see. Yeah. Okay. Kind of what I suspected. All right. We're just gonna move on to the next. Next weapon you're able, you're gonna be able to obtain is by boss drop, which is this guy, Haruta's weapon, the hand sword. So yeah, basically. This weapon is actually pretty good. I was about to say, I don't know why my menu wasn't closing, but um, yeah, so this weapon is actually not bad at all. It's actually one of the better ones um, for boss drops. Of course, besides Toji, which is the best one, but um, yeah. So here are them ones. Nothing too crazy, but you know, I mean, it's still nice. Um, M2. And then we have the move. So the first move we have is Cryptic Slash. It's basically, you jump up and slam down on the opponent. Now, second and last move is Miracle Counter, which is where basically you counter them and then you strike them, stab them and strike them, which is not bad. So you can use it like literally at any time. Well, not in the middle of a combo, but you get my point. So yeah so we're just gonna move right on to the next weapon all right so we're coming close to the end so if you like what you've seen so far and if this was informative to you guys anything whatsoever make sure to leave a like down below and consider subscribing too um but yeah so the next weapon we have is the inverted spear of heaven which you can get this weapon by fighting toji right here as i said and um yeah so here are the m1s Nice little custom M1s, like the fluid, uh, fluidness of it. M2, nice little spin and wind back to hit them. And um, yeah, not bad at all, really. Uh, so the first move we have is Z slot, X slash, sorry. And yeah, basically it's supposed to knock them back, but you know, mobile. Uh, so for the final move we have is Heavenly Takedown. Very nice cinematic in my opinion, if you ask me. Not gonna lie. And uh, yeah. So that's pretty much it for Toji's um uh, yeah, weapon. So let's just move on right to the next one. Next and final weapon we have is the Kanto Knife, which you can acquire from the Nanami boss. Uh, video for that, all boss locations will also be coming out um, later. So yeah. So here's what it looks like, of course, pretty accurate, not gonna lie. M1s. Nice animation, I like the dust kick up, like how Maki's staff had it. Not bad, not bad. M2. And uh, yeah, so let's check out the first move. So first move is Critical Assault. Okay, we missed that. But uh, basically it rushes at them and just does like a little slash and then like a knockback. Or I think it's a knockback, but um, yeah. So next move we have is Weak Point. Basically just, I guess like slows the opponent down or something. I think it has some sort of effect when you hit this. But yeah, so let's try to hit Critical Assault again. Okay, we couldn't... Oh, we hit it that time, but I guess the animation did show. But you guys get the point. So basically, that's all the weapons so far in the game. As Update 1 comes out, there might be more. So this is subject to change. And same thing for the best weapon, even though I still feel like Toji's weapon might be the best one so far still. But um, if it was helpful for you guys, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn on the bell. Make sure to join the Discord, and I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.